it's good to know how to troubleshoot your refrigeration system in a Royal Merlin 4, and this can actually be done through the control board. Typical scenario would be that the machine's not getting cold. Uh, and that could be due to the compressor not working altogether, or the refrigeration relay is not triggering over. So we can test that from the control board. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and press the blue service mode button on the control board one time. Now come around and print it with cash on the display. Now I'm going to cycle to the fridge option, F-R-I-G. Now sometimes that fridge option is actually in a hidden menu on a Roll and Merlin 4. There is a, a menu that you can lock away from route the route person and you can unlock. So to find that you actually have to go to the configuration. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain to how to get to unlock this fridge menu um, if it's hidden on your machine. To do that, we're gonna to go to con or C-O-N in the machine. So I'm gonna press selection button one until I get to C-O-N which is kind of short for configurations. And if I'm going to do is I'm gonna press the number three selection button to enter that, and I'm presented with C11. Now what we're looking for is C2. Configuration two option is to allow us to enable or disable the secondary menu or the menu that you can lock away from a route person. So I'm gonna go ahead and press selection button one to find the C2. Now it's on currently on this machine, but if it was off, it would be a zero. So Press the collection button three, we get a blinking number. We press button one or button two to change the blinking number where we want it. Zero is off or hidden, one is on or shown. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back to a one. Tap the number three selection button and we'll press and hold it until the uh, number stops blinking. At that point, I've now unlocked that fridge menu. So I'm gonna press and hold selection button three until the display reads con, C-O-N, and now I can move forward to find that fridge menu. So I'm gonna press selection button one to find the fridge menu. So I'm gonna keep pressing it. Now this it's buried way down there. There's a lot of options on this control board. I think I actually passed it right there. There we are, F-R-I-G, fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and enter this. Press selection button three to enter it. What we're looking for here is going to be the actual, what we call relay test. So it's R-E-L-Y. So on the relay test, we're going to go ahead and enter relay, tap the number three selection button, and this allows us to actually actuate or turn on and off our several relays we have in this machine. Now there's gonna be a fan relay, which is a relay that controls the evaporator fan. That's gonna be on high efficiency models. Uh, there's gonna be a relay for the lights, and there's gonna be a relay for the compressor, and there's gonna be a relay for the heater. Yeah, we're concerned in this right now for the compressor. So let's go ahead and find the compressor, which is under CNPR. So press this until I find CNPR, which is a compressor. Tap selection button three, and now it says compressor off. Now if I press selection button one or two, it would cycle to compressor on. Now at this point, I can go ahead and press selection button three, and it's going to turn on the compressor. So it's gonna get a little bit loud at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the compressor. There, compressor's kicked on, so now I can check to see if the compressor's on. At this point, I could sit and wait to see if this uh, refrigeration assembly down here uh, started getting cold, my coal started getting cold. I know I've got um, airflow, the fan's working, so I can feel the airflow through here. And my lines are already beginning to get cold on the evaporator coal. So I know that this relay is actually opening, opening. now let's make sure it does close or turn off. So I come back around here, we still got CNPR, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap the number three selection button. This allows me to go to compressor off, press selection button three to engage it, and the other compressor turned off. So what I did there is actually test to make sure that the relay is kicking the compressor on and off. This is a great troubleshooting technique to make sure your refrigeration system is cooling, because sometimes it's difficult to know how quickly the compressor comes on. Because usually when you close these doors, there is a time delay before the compressors actually come on. This is what they call an anti-stutter uh, on the board. So you never want your compressor to be coming on and off if you were to lose power and your power is to fluctuate. You don't want the compressor to come on, off, on, off, on, off, which can damage the compressor. So the, in the board is built in a time delay to prevent your compressor from getting hot cycled or short cycled like that. So that's how you actually can test your compressor in a Royal Merlin 4 drink vending machine.